Factors affecting the magnitude of an induced EMF. To demonstrate this, we need a conductor and a magnet. The conductor is attached to the galvanometer. The conductor is moved very fast with a moderate speed and very slowly then the observations are made on the galvanometer. We notice that the observation made is that the deflection on the galvanometer depend on the rate at which the uh, the conductor is moved. With the biggest deflection, when the speed is very fast, when the conductor is moved very fast, and the lowest deflection when the conductor is moved very slowly. From these observations, we say that one of the factors that affects the magnitude of an induced EMF is the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage. Magnetic flux, also denoted as this, is the strength of magnetic field threading a given area. A faster relative motion between the field and the conductor gives rise to a higher rate of change in magnetic flux linking the coil. This results into an increased induced EMF. So we therefore say that the magnitude of the induced EMF increases with the increase in the rate of change of the magnetic of the flux linkage. Another factor that affects the magnitude of the induced EMF is the number of turns of the coil. To demonstrate this, we connect a solenoid to a galvanometer and then move a magnet into and out of the solenoid while increasing the number of turns of the coil of the solenoid.
it is observed that each time the number of turns of the solenoid is increased, a higher deflec deflection is noted. So we say that higher deflection is noted when the number of turns is increased. This indicates an increase in the induced current and therefore the increase in the magnitude of the EMF induced in the coil. So we say therefore that the magnitude of the induced EMF increases with the number of turns.